Uh, we're going to take a look at a problem uh, from a fifth grade math book from Singapore and we're going to solve this problem in two different ways. The first way is the traditional way, the way most of us were taught in US schools and we're going to call it the US method. Then we're going to look at a, the way it's presented in, in the Singapore book. So we're going to compare the two solutions. That's the goal. Uh, let's read the question. Jeremy bought eight identical pens and five identical notebooks. The cost of eight pens is same as the cost of five notebooks. Each notebook costs 30 cents more than each pen. How much did Jeremy spend altogether? So let's take a look at a US solution. We're going to call it the US method. Uh, We're going to use algebra. And basically when we use um, when we are using equations it's a good idea to define our variable and we're gonna say the cost of each pen is x cents since the cost of each notebook is 30 cents more the cost of each notebook has to be x plus 30 and we know the cost of eight pens is same as the cost of five notebooks L note here 8x is the cost of eight pens and 5 times x plus 30 is the cost of 5 notebooks. They must be equal because that's what the question says. All we need to do now is solve this equation which doesn't look terribly bad. It's a pretty simple equation, this equation. So what we did here is 8x is 8x on the right hand side. I distributed 5 over x plus 30 and I got 5x plus 150. I moved the variables on the same side. I have 8x minus 5x here is equal to 150. 8x minus 5x is 3x. 3x is equal to 150. Divide both sides by 3 and x turns out to be 50 cents. Now. I am supposed to find the total amount of money Jeremy spent. So let's find out how much he spent on 8 pens. The cost of 8 pens is 8x and x is 50. So we replace x with 50 and we get 8 times 50 or 500, 400 cents. Uh, we know the cost of 5 notebooks should also be 400 cents. So the total cost has to be 400 plus 400 or 800 cents. So that's the answer. $8 or 800 cents. All right, let's erase all the highlights and look at the next method and we're going to call it the Singapore method. It's visual, it's not algebraic and we're going to see if we can make sense of this method. So I have eight purple rectangles. They represent the price of eight pens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the bottom part represents the price of five notebooks. Now note that each notebook costs 30 cents more than a pen. So I bought five notebooks so each was the each notebook is worth the price of a pen plus 30 cents. Another notebook is worth the price of a pen plus 30 cents. Now if you collect all the five 30 cents and put them here you'll get 150 cents. Now according to the question the cost of five notebooks excuse me, let's erase these highlights. According to the question, the cost of five notebooks is same as the cost of eight pens. Now you really have to understand that. It's a little tricky, but since each notebook is 30 cents more and Jeremy bought five notebooks, uh, the total cost of five notebooks is same as the cost of five pens plus 150 cents. That's all this picture is trying to tell us. And once we get that, we can use this part. Excuse me, let's erase that. Okay, we can get this, look at this part to decide what each pink uh, rectangle is worth. If three pink rectangles add up to 150 cents, each should be worth 50 cents. And that's all I need to know. I'm all set. Now, So if each rectangle is worth, if each pink rectangle is worth 50 cents, I have eight pink rectangles. The, the, these rectangles represent the cost of eight pens. That has to be eight times 50 or 400 cents. And of course, the cost of five notebooks must be 400 cents. 
Now if you go back and put 50 cents here for the five rectangles you're going to get 150 cents, uh, 250 cents, sorry. Uh, let's ignore that. I'm going to erase that. This is according to what we had. This is 50 cents. And that times 5 is 250. 250 plus 150 is 400. So it makes sense. It's correct. The total cost is 400 plus 400 or 80 cents or 8 dollars just like we did before. Now note when you're using visual techniques uh, students are actually solving algebraic problems visually with understanding with good solid conceptual understanding of what's going on they're not using memorized steps they're not using some magic trick or using um, uh, a method that they quite don't understand. They figure things out. So the Singapore method is in a way fairly different from the US method because in the in, in US these problems are generally used in, in grade 8, grade 9 text but in Singapore fifth grade kids are doing some of these things without using the the concept of algebra or the notion of variables.